The typical mini art box art for figure kids. All figures included are shown in their poses. Usually I don't care much for box arts, but there's one thing I really like about those mini art do for these kind of kids. The figures look almost exactly the way they are shown here. As usual I chose a figure set that shows soldiers at rest. I'm no good at building dais that show combat action, and I leave it to the modelers who feel comfortable with it. There's a sprue map coming along with the kit, but there's nothing more to see than what you're seeing right now. As usual the sprues come in light grey plastic and there's a bit of flesh on most parts. I don't care too much because you always have to remove seams. To me it doesn't make much of a difference if they're more or less pronounced as long as the parts aren't damaged. What I really like are the earphone wires that are molded onto the figure's jackets. I think I'll use at least the plugs. The wires look a little too thick but the plugs appear to be ok. I don't want to mention each part cause you've got eyes of your own. In my opinion the overall appearance is quite nice. The detail looks a little soft on a couple of parts and especially the faces don't show too good detail. I'm thinking of replacing the heads but I'm not quite sure yet. Here's something that needs a little more care. I'll drill out the goggles and fill them with crystal clear window color after the paint job is finished. The holsters for the pistols look very nice and they come in two versions. All helmets are made of three parts plus the parts that's molded onto the heads. Here's one microphone and I'll put it to good use on the priest. A close up of the helmet's rear portion concludes the inspection of the sprues. Champagne bubbles, Cupid's brew, to usher in the rising moon, oh my heart. The construction of the helmets reminded me strongly of dragon figures. The same goes for the instructions. All you can see are the figures with parts numbers next to them. Anyway, it isn't too difficult to find the right parts because all figures have their own section on the sprues. It's impossible to get it wrong. From my experience of mini art figures I would say that the fit will most likely be good or very good. Of course I can't tell you what these are like before I actually build them. Also next to the figures are numbers on blue squares for the color call out. Gold shell. We both trod around the world, just me and you, I'm just that kind of... Here's something you don't find too often these days. The color callout lists seven different companies. The colors may be slightly different depending on the manufacturer, but this is very nice. Champagne bubbles. And in case you're not using any of the paints mentioned here, there's also a name for each color. That's how I like it. There are too many kits around that only recommend one paint company. I want to make my own decision on the paints I use. Ooh, 